Space Engineers on the new server that I have, which is one of two. Well, this one's the one that I control, but it's an asteroid server. Um, <coughs> I've been working for a while on it. Uh, I got this mining ship that works pretty pretty dang well. Um, has nine drills on the front, and it's pretty long. It got the I put the cargo in the back that way it won't explode. And there's not very many thrusters, so you can't go very fast. But I put lights up in the front, too. And lights in the back, so when my friends follow me, they know that it's me. Or they know what to follow. But I got my cryopod, my mud bay, um, cockpit. And you can't really access anything storage-wise unless you get in the cryopod, which I'm fine with. Because I'm not really needing to get in here. Because usually I just put the thruster on forward and the drills on. And it will automatically go forward. But I just stocked up on uranium, and so I'm thinking about making, well, I'm going to be making a um, cargo and power station right here. That way we have plenty of refineries and stuff, because I have so much ore that I need to get refined. Because I have been mining quite a bit and not done anything but work on the, sh the ship um, and tinker with it and the, the air and stuff. So I'm going to be building my uh, refineries. I think I'm going to do it right up here where there's no uranium. Yep. So I'm going to take this ship and I'm going to move it over there. I think I'm going to go a little bit closer. I've been trying to upload more, but I haven't really been able to because my sp upload speed's terrible. So I, I try not to do it very often because it makes my Wi-Fi terrible for everybody else. But uh, I'm going to be getting a 3D printer s in the mail here soon. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing video on that. And I'm probably going to I'm gonna make a time-lapse build video because it's a kit, so I have to build it. And then... Uh, I'll probably do some time lapse of some prints and stuff as my test prints and uh, I'll try to keep doing some space engineer stuff in between all this but uh, I might not be able to because space engineers gameplay takes up quite a bit of space so I'll have to try to condense them as much as I can to uh, upload them and I'm gonna try to be doing a lot more editing um, not in this video but in videos to come but uh, I don't have the best editing software right now, so I'm kind of limited to what I can and can't do.
But yeah, I'm going to start my base right here. I forgot I had a Space Master on from when I had to move my ship and I had to get back to my cockpit. So my ship was stuck in there. Yeah, but that's one bad thing about that ship is it doesn't have the best um, entry point. So when you are trying to get in and out, it's it's kind of difficult because the way that it mines, it doesn't mine a big enough space for a, a, a door or people, not really a door, but a people to go, a person to go through. So you have to either do what I did and teleport or... Uh, mine your way out or mine your way in and I kind of had it auto mining earlier so I didn't really know where it was so I just space mastered to it and I really need to put an antenna on there because I go away from my ship and then I, I can't find it Me and my friends were talking about the best way, well, what we think is the best way to start off in space. And what we came up with is that you take your yellow spawn ship and you grind down the connector and the collector. And you try to find some nickel and silicon and then you need some iron because it takes quite a bit of steel plates to make a drill. But you make a drill and you, uh, you put some conveyors like I'm just going to use my ship for an example but you put some conveyors on the bottom going from the assembler down and then to the left or just where that connect uh, yeah that connector was then you just put a conveyor block where the connector is and then you go to the left well if you're on this side of the ship you go to the left if you are on the opposite side then you go to the right but from that connector you go to the left to the front of the ship and then if you want, you can connect the med bay up to everything else while you're at it. And then you go to the front of the ship, and then you put a drill block right under the front of the ship. And then you just you start finding the ores that you need and start building up from there. And then you build the ships that you want or the base that you want. And uh, we think that's the best way to start off is just to try to mine your resources and then build your stuff. I know a lot of people that take apart their ships their spawn ships and then they try building something but they don't have the actual resources for it and so they end up needing help from other people and from what I've experienced there's not a lot of people that like to help out
I'm thinking about putting my reactor room down there. That way it will be, it will have uh, plenty of cover and storage area and that kind of thing. But one thing that I need to do is build a drone, a welder drone. I guess I don't have gold. Or maybe it's platinum. No, it's not platinum. I mean, maybe it is something else. But um, I think it's just gold that I need. And I thought I saw someone on a part of this asteroid. Looks like he's been working on his base. Well, hmm. crap, I won't be able to make those thrusters, but I think I had a few extra. So, and if not, I think my my buddy has what's left of his thrusters and I'll just borrow the, the, his components for a bit if I can't find the what I need in my ship.
Oh wow, they were right there and I didn't even realize it. Well, there is a crucial mistake in my design. Oh shoot. Wrong freaking tool. Um, that is starting to happen too often. Um, okay. So, what I need to do is. Hmm. 